Hello everyone, today we are in another video of playing crazy tutorial. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, just kind of got busy. But anyway, I am back for with another video. And today we're going to be making a small walker. Very simple. And anyone can really make it. There's no motors included other than simple setting motors. So, let's get right into it. First off, showcase. I made it right here. Also, I don't know if this is an update or not, but they have like little tabs in the color coding for real. But yeah, I think once I think it's a brand new update or something that's going to be coming out in public service, but right now it's only in private service. So it goes away after after you're moving. Anywho, it has a little back tail so you can turn and it, it basically just has uses two propellers and unpowered motors. It works pretty simple. Turn with it, follows your mouse, one with it. Pretty good robot, in, all in all, and you could like add guns, add little arms to the side, which I will be doing later. Anyway, let's get into making this robot. First off, you're going to want to get um, a normal blast block, just a blast block. You're going to want to go to the gears category, blast blocks, and click on blast blocks. You're going to want to click on the little screwdriver here. And set density to max 10. You're going to want to place one. Then you're going to want to count one, two, three. Then after the third one, place it. You're going to want to go to the blocks category. And then get the beam one by four. And you're going to want to have it facing up. And you're going to put it on the blast box. Just like this. Okay. Now we're gonna get some motors in the gear category under PPP weapons. There should be motors. Just a normal motor. And you're gonna want to face it like this. Just like this and this. So yeah, you could um press the purple screwdriver, unpower both of them. Just like that. And then you're going to want to place a normal block in the middle. Then you want to get a helium block. Place two of those on top of the block. One behind the other. Just like that. You're going to want to place one on top of the back one. So you should have something looking just like this. And sorry for my nose, I've been sick for a little while. Okay, so then you're gonna want to make like a little bit of a T shape. And if you look at it from the front, like a T shape. But it's gonna be on the back. So you ha should have it look like this. You can pause the video right now to make it sure that it's looking just like this. Okay, so then you're gonna want to place two in front of the two um two back left and right want to place one in front then you want to go down to the light bulb category and you're going to want to well i already have my main pilot seat but you're going to want to click click on main pilot seat and you're going to want to place it right here it's like that Make sure it looks like this, and then we can move. And then we're gonna come over here to the power or movement area category, and you want to click on propellers, and then you want the small propeller engine. You want to click on this, and then click on and off only mode, and you're gonna want to put this one right here. And then this one right here, in front of the blast blocks. 
So once you've done that, you're going to want to click on one of them. Either, either one is fine. Um, and you're going to want to make one of them increase power S and decrease power W. You don't need to change the decrease power because it's on on and off mode, but it's best to make sure they're not the same um, key. So just like that, and then you're going to want to go to the oh propeller chain, I guess the wings. Get a wing panel one by four. I want to place it right here, right here in the back of the helium. Just like that. And then one under. Just like so. Then you want to get come over here to the gears, motors. You want to click on motor 2. Facing upwards, you're going to place it on the back of the bottom wing panel. Then we're going to configure it. Purple screwdriver and click on the motor 2. And you want to set the speed to max. And you want to select inverted. You don't need to change these controls. You're not going to be using them at all. This is what's going to make it follow your mouse. So now you want to get um, a delta wing. You want to go to the wings category. Get a delta wing. And the delta wing 1x3. Place it right here on top of the motor make sure it's not connecting you could connect right there that's fine because it's delta but like make sure it's not looking like this or like this it has to look like this then you're gonna want to get a wing panel yeah wing panel one by three and place it right there you can also go ahead and just place it right there because just right on and then uh, you're basically done yeah, you're done. And then you can make as many of these as you want because they all follow your mouse. I think. Yeah. They all follow your mouse. So you just have like a huge army of these. I think they're pretty cool. So yeah, that's it basically. So now second part of the video i'm gonna let's make some arms some robotic arms for it because we want it in battle and so just gonna place that right there and right here motor 2 motor 2 is fine just like that okay so now we want the flat part on the outside. And we do want speed at max. Just like that. For every single one. Then we can get the normal blocks. Block category, block, block. Everyone knows what the blocks are. And then we're going to place three of them. Actually, no, two. Two of them. On each motor in front of it, it won't affect the actual base in any way because it's not connecting with the actual base. It's connecting with this part of the motor right here. Alright, and then you can add, like, um, scrolls, PvP weapons, and guns. Add guns to this one. I'm gonna let's see. I'm gonna just make like a real quick little saw. There you go. Real quick little saw. I'm just making real quick little saw. There you go. And then you can have like fireworks on this one and rockets. You can customize it in a lot of different ways actually. 
any way you want. You can see that works. To turn, you can't turn it on while you're staying still. You do have to move. Uh, look at the saw. Saw's just spinning right around. Missiles. So to move it, I forgot to tell you. Press W, then S. W, S, W, S. And that will move. It follows your mouse. And so yeah, I'm going to be making another video. Uh, most likely today or tomorrow. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry again, I haven't uploaded in a while. But um... Yeah, I'm now going to be showcasing a couple of new things I made recently when I haven't uploaded in a while. I'm going to be showcasing and I am going to give a tutorial on one of them. But I'm going to leave for what they are as a surprise. Anywho, I'll see you in my next video. See ya!